Now, graffiti certainly divides opinion. For some, it's nothing but a blight on the urban landscape, while for others, it's a vital and dynamic form of artistic expression. In Senegal, an art school has been set up to use graffiti as a way to inspire young people, as Tim Allman reports. In Dakar, this is just part of the scenery. Colourful, occasionally controversial, sometimes political, often joyous. A maverick form of art, but that might be about to change. This is the RBS Academia, an art school for graffiti. For the most part, they thought it was impossible to put something like this in place. You didn't even think you'd have a single student, because who's going to be interested in this art? And after opening it, they realised there are a lot more young people who were interested in it. The students, sometimes young people who've left ordinary school behind, pay around $25 a month in tuition fees. They are taught technique, design, the use of colour, a way to make money, but it's so much more than that. For me, graffiti is a tool that allows me to express myself. While people are in the streets to demonstrate violently, art allows us to be noble and to put messages on the walls that won't go unnoticed. For many, graffiti is now an art form gaining newfound respect. And the students of RBS Academia are doing their bit. Tim Allman, BBC News.